What's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today is our last week here in Grenadines and it's a really windy day. So my bag is still not perfectly fixed or well. So I cannot kite today. I can't take advantage of the wind. But Alejo is going to be kiting. Hello people. here laying down waiting to catch a fish i mean i don't think that's a fish for two i think that's a fish for one maybe i would honestly help you but don't let me <laughs> my back hurts really baby you know my back hurts but i'm not kiting like that's when you know that it really hurts because if not i would be kiting with you It is our last week here in the Grenadines because we're waiting for the wind to pass. Hopefully enjoy this week's of kiting. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna enjoy with this bag. Um, if you didn't watch last video, my lower back is killing me. I get this really awful chronic pain like once or twice a year. And it's really bad to the point where I can't really sit for long, barely any time, or stand for too long. And then we're going to head to another island and start making our way south to Venezuela, to Los Roques. But for now, we get to enjoy this beautiful Caribbean island. Seriously, it looks like one of those postcards, doesn't it? With the little palm trees. Good job, baby. Excited to see you guys today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to the windward side of the island because there's the best wind. Yeah. And it doesn't get like gusty. So Alejo didn't want to kite without me today. But I told him to kite because last week I kited like three day, three hours straight, a full day that was windy. Um, but he couldn't kite because something happened to his foot. Is there other people kiting today with you? No. Nope. You're by yourself? Just me. But I'll rescue you if anything, baby. <laughs> no confias en mí? Okay. So Alejo's gonna have a really good kiting session today. Now we have it up in the air. Um, we haven't seen the town of the island of Myru, so we're just gonna go check it out. We're gonna walk there. First time we're walking, I think we always use our scooters, but it's a good day to walk, right? A very good day. How beautiful are the palm trees in the back? So amazing. How long is the walk? Uh, I don't know. I think it's around 30 minutes to the top of the hill. And then I don't know if we have to go down to the other side. Or is it just at the top of the hill? Yeah, we're already running super low on groceries, like really low. You know it's really bad when you don't have any flour left. <laughs> the other day we were gonna make bread or like pita bread to have some hummus because now we're like really low for the dinners. 
we don't really have much to eat. No, no, no. And we noticed our, our flour is so, like it's bad because you don't use it often, but it's old. And so now it was like already moldy. Plus since we left the boat for like three months, we were just gonna open it, try to use it. It was so bad. We didn't bring anything from the US. We should have stocked up a little bit. Elise brought a bag back to the boat of, you know, groceries and stuff, but we didn't bring anything. And now when we provision here, um, apparently going to, obviously, not apparently, obviously, going to Venezuela, you can't really find anything. So we need to really stock up on groceries. What did she say? Uh, we're not too far. It's right there. Oh, okay. And then we just keep going straight? Yeah, just walk up. Up the hill. When was the last time you wore shoes, man? Back in the US. Back in the US. Yeah, we never wear shoes. Never. Feels like green, but also very deserted, right? Like very dry, very... We can mix. Look at how hot it is. 3,000 steps a day. <laughs> so this view, that back there, that's Union Island. And you could see the color of the ocean looks pretty nice. Beautiful view. Beautiful. There's a lot of boats sailing. There's one, two, three, four, five boats sailing. Yeah. But most of the boats here are, that we have seen in the bay that we're staying are mostly uh, charter boats. Yeah. And they come and go, come and go, come and go. Alejo is always on the lookout for other boats. And funny, like last night we were about to go to sleep and there were these boats right next to us just like on a fight <laughs> right yeah, screaming to each other like turn the fucking light off <laughs> and then it was just like let's just hear the conversation and see what they're saying there's a boat that has that light on and a guy in a dinghy just went and they're screaming screaming to each other what you want? What you want? just calling names and they just want them to turn off that light because they can't sleep yeah, that's the cemetery of the island. And look at all the goats. They're just chilling on the tomb. So guys, I guess this is the top of the hill of Mayro. Here's like a little church, like houses, a little park for the kids. Okay, so we're walking down and you can see that like that's a little bar. I guess a little restaurant here. And they have a very nice yard. You can come and see. Oh, so these are the vegetables. Right, plantains. This is also we call it Shadow Vinny. That you could use to make tea or oh, seasoning. Cool oh, that's culantro. Cool oh, yes, we'll buy that. <laughs> <laughs> to me, no, that's celery and this is parsley. Oh, that's crazy. Oh. Yeah, totally. You call this parsley. And it's like, it's crazy. <laughs> I'm not expensive. I'm the cheapest on the island. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you just selling us? Mm, I'm the food? cheapest. <laughs> Do you have spinach or lettuce or kale or any of those? Mm, well, the last time I bring a lot of lettuce, the, these people here didn't buy the lettuce. So no? I, really? Yeah. Do you guys have water here? Or do you have cover for the, from the rain? That's the rain water. So you only get rain water? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. So no electricity? Yeah, yeah they have electricity, but the guy who owns this house, his electricity got cut off. So, oh, man. But that water is actually the best water. Yeah, it's rain very clean. Right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah very clean. Because the, the water in the pipe, remember, they add chlorine, they add yeah, other yeah, chemicals yeah. to it. Yeah. Do you have days, like seasons where it doesn't rain and you guys barely yeah. have any water? Mm -hmm. Like the season to come up here like from March. From March is going to be dry season until around June. Oh, and so you guys have to stock up on water yeah. for those days? If they don't, they're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> like when the season is really dry, they have cargo boats that will bring them people and cargo from the mainland. You may go to the boat and ask them for some water. So you may walk with some jugs or some buckets and fill it. But wow. Wow, and you guys crazy. take a bath and drink water and yeah. cook with it. Wow, that's a lot of water you need to have, right? No, like no? What, one bucket of that water. So this, this is like a gallon? What, that, that's no, like it's not a gallon, that's five gallons, right? Yeah. 
How long does it last? Well, you could actually use that for like two days because okay. you use at least half of that to bathe yeah. or less. Yeah. What's your name? I'm Jason. Jason, nice to meet you. I'm Andrea. Andrea. Good to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Your music here is like a little bit of reggae kind of thing. Yeah. Well, okay. Here is like a bit sculpture. I, honestly, I don't say we don't have our own culture because yeah. we have soca music, reggae music, dancehall music, and these are originated like the dancehall is from Jamaica. Yeah. Soca is mainly from Trinidad, uh, Grenada. Yeah. So it's like. A we just a little bit of everything. We're just taking people's culture. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. We're just adapting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, here, you guys, like in this island, you don't see that no. many. The, most of the vegetables here is actually imported from the mainland. Like my family, my family is a farming family. We do farming. Right. And remember, it's like the water resources. Like here, we don't have a river here. Yeah. Um, so if you don't have a river, right, you need water in order to, water to grow to, the, the yeah. plants. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. So we met Jason, super cool guy. It's crazy how people how they live so different from the way we live. You know, in the when you're in the U.S., you take 15 minute showers, take the longest time. You have your like, you know, just sit that down there and just wait until the water hits you. And like here, you realize, you know, I mean, we conserve water in the boat, but their level of conserving water is another level because we can make water. They can't make water when it's dry season and when they just don't have any more. So he was telling us that to give themselves a bath, like just with like wipe off with water, like a okay. towel, a wet towel, and then just kind of like pour some water. So barely, I think less than a gallon they spend in. Yeah. In a shower, yeah. In a shower, because that's how they drink. That's how they make food. That's how. So if not, they'll they'll die because they don't have any water here. So. It's crazy. It makes you value and makes you, you know, how Im the importance of water and how much of a limited resource it actually is. And then we check the supermarket, and it's like a little room <laughs> with nothing. We're just gonna wait until we go to the Big Island to get some groceries because here it's not the place. So we made it back to the beach. We're gonna go back to the boat. And coming, have some lunch and I did we some laundry, laundry yeah. so there's a little storm coming so I'm gonna put everything inside so I'm going here to where those little boats are I'm gonna try to fish see if we catch something something It's really rough out here, you see the size of the waves, they're huge. So I've been fishing now for like 20 minutes and I really suck at this, barely get anything. Oh shit, my oh, man! This fishing thing is really hard. I mean, nothing even touches my rod. We'll see, we'll keep trying till we get something. Give me some tips, people, some tips. Six and a half hours later. So I'm just here, laying down, waiting to catch a fish. In the dinghy. Cut a small fish. I chopped them up into little pieces. And I'm gonna use this hook. And then, yeah, I'm gonna try to fish something bigger. It's really small but perfect for bait. Welcome back, fisherman. Frustrated fisherman. <laughs> How did it go? At least I cut something. I cut a small fish. I put, I cut it up into pieces to grab something bigger. And I cut another one, but it died while I was trying to take the hook out. I just need to find if we can eat it. Baby, but that's a really small fish. <laughs> I mean, I know we're hungry, but like... <laughs> Look, it's like what, like what? <laughs> I mean, I don't think that's a fish for two. I think that's a fish for one. But so we can do like a side or something. Okay, baby, we can do a side. What? Yeah, we can do a side. What's up, people? It's Sunday. So it's Sunday. We were gonna go kiteboarding today. And we were and ready. We were ready. Even Andrea got her little 
hitting my makeup face. done my my sunblock Sun makeup done it hasn't stopped raining and it's like super gusty you can see it started to rain again horrible the wind goes 30 knots all of a sudden and then it cuts to like 10 knots and then it starts raining again and yeah no bueno amigo no bueno amigo i don't know if you can hear the wind so i just <laughs> fried the fish that i caught yesterday the small one it's not so small now that it's on the plate but it looks pretty good uh we have some lemon lime whatever fried fish baby it does look small you're such a liar <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Tasty. There's a slapper, but better. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Because I cut it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> so guys, we were watching some videos of when we were like young. When I were <laughs> like <old>. young. <laughs> I had hair, people, I had hair. My hair went up. It actually made us cry, right? Yes. How young we were and I so wish we would have recorded. Like if you guys are not making videos, Start making videos for whatever you do with your family, your loved ones, whatever you do, because we were just watching those videos and I wish we would have, you know, picked up the camera more and recorded more because there's not amount, not any amount of pictures can make up for how for videos video, yeah. feel. So the reason why I didn't return the grouper, you know groupers, are, they have a really big mouth mm. and they had a little chunk. Wait, let's show them the big mouth. No, it goes bigger than that. Really? Yeah. And I had a chunk of fish that I caught a small fish. I chopped it up for bait. And I was fishing with that. And this grouper just swallowed the whole thing. And the hook was like really in there. And I knew it was small, like a small grouper. But I was trying to take off the hook. And like taking off the hook, I just ripped the gills or something. And the fish died while I was trying to release the fish. So. Now we're eating it. Even I mean, though it's a small I fish. We would have returned it so yeah. that it would grow and eventually grab it when it was bigger. But yes. <laughs> and we're so low on food that we get so hungry. Oh, I'm still in the videos. Oh my god. It's just like we really, we have to hug each other more. We have to give each other more love because you could just tell when we were dating. I was just crying telling him <laughs> it's true. <laughs> he would look at me with so much love. Like his eyes would be like watering. Like they're giving me so much love. <laughs> oh my gosh. Still look cute. Look at yes, me. Yes, I know you still love me, but no, you don't look at me the same though when we were just dating. That's true. Get flip the fish. <laughs> Are women emotional? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> <qué> risa. Tell. It's a nasty. Let it clip, tell. ¿Por qué no te quieres tirar? <laughs> Porque no, es muy muy alta. ¿No te parece bien? Pues si estuviera mi papá, yo me tiraba con mi papá. Mi papá, si no me... that stage of honeymoon stage yeah and now it's like the stage where marriage stage the marriage stage you've no, been together for good. so many years still no good. it is still good but it's part of our relationship like you yeah. and, you know. and we're 24 7 together so yeah doesn't make it easy but doesn't make it easy because when you go to a job and you have to like you spend the entire day outside of your house you can actually like miss that person miss that person more than when you're together 24 7. okay well i think that's it for this video see you guys on the next one see you next sunday join us because we will keep recording now that we just saw the old videos we have to make sure that we record everything, everything.